Hi guys, this is your sister Karen Gidden in Jesus Christ and this is just part two of uh, the remaining of the vision uh, that the Lord gave me on the 21st of May 2019. I've already done part one. I will link it in the description box about the two suns and the two moons and the complete darkening of the entire sky. So that's in the description box part one if you have not watched that video. So in this part two, so we'll start off by uh, basically in part one when I say everybody just run away from the park because they got totally frightened totally scared fearful because I saw two suns and two moons up in the darkened sky and like I said they all left so when these people left the entire sky brothers and sisters became bright again it was beautiful day crispy sun in the sky uh no darkness or anything one sun and obviously the one moon way over in the corner but this time in the same park there was a different set of people these people that was in this part ladies and gentlemen were more like fans uh they, they were more like celebrity fans uh trying to get a peek of a celebrity and as i was walking through this park brothers and sisters i saw a limousine and in this limousine the window was uh down and the person that i saw was kanye west so as soon as I saw him, because the limo was parked up somewhere in the park, and as soon as I saw him, I said to myself, right, Lord, this is the opportunity. I'm going to go over and tell Kanye West about the vision that I had about him in 2016, where he became a Christian. Let me just do a side note, because when I say Christian, I don't want people to think, oh, well, you know, he's a Christian. Kanye West is not a Christian now. I know he's doing this Sunday service and all that, but believe me, he is not saved, okay? Right, so, um, so in this vision that the Lord, I will actually link it in the description box. I'm not going to go over it, but I'll link it in the description box if you want to watch that vision from 2016 when the Lord showed me that Kanye West will become a child of God. So I said to him, right, Lord, this is my opportunity. I'm going to go over very boldly and tell him about this vision so I walked up to this limousine and I said hi Kanye uh, my name is Kerry and there's a vision that the Lord gave me about you and I would like to share it with you you know obviously I can't do the American accent but uh, we were like yeah yeah come on in come on and said, so come in the limousine so I opened the door and I went in the limousine and you were sitting opposite we're sitting opposite each other and I began to tell him about the vision in 2016 that God gave me. And he basically said to me, yes, yes, I believe in your vision is true because I absolutely love, this is what he was saying. He went, I absolutely love Jesus. I love him so much from my heart. And this is the reason why I'm doing the Sunday services. When he mentioned the Sunday services, my spirit got stirred. And I said to him, well, Kanye, you know, the Sunday services that you're doing, they're not really of God. He didn't like it, but he didn't show, like, he wasn't aggressive or anything. We're like, what do you mean it's not of God? I love the Lord. People are being blessed. People are listening. We're singing unto Jesus. I said, yes, but you need, uh, this is the word that I said to him, you need to let, um, you need to let things go to gain Jesus. And he looked through the window. And when he looked through the window, he went, but my wife. And I said, well, you know, if you really love Jesus as you say you do, you can't have a wife that's half naked on, on TV, um, in the, you know, on international TV. Everybody's seeing bits and pieces, parts of her. I said, that is not godly and you're sending out the wrong message. And as I look through the window, ladies and gentlemen, this is the reason why the fans were there. I saw Kim Kardashian and she was doing a modeling shoot and she had on a green metallic, uh, I'm going to call it a G string women. Some women know what I'm talking about. A G string bath suit, which means her whole entire butt cheeks was outside. 
her back was cut out and she was just in a, the skin PS. She was just in the skin PS of the skin PS bikini all in one bath suit. And when Khan and you know and she was doing a modeling shoot and she was walking up and down in the park and giving it all that. And when he looked through the window and I said to him, look, you've got to lose it all to gain Christ. And, and as I said, he looked through the window and went, but my wife. And I said, well, you know, you've got to be an example. If you said you, you say you love Jesus and you want to serve him, then you've got to step up to the plate and let God take full control of your life. He didn't answer me or anything like that, but he was listening to what I was saying. And as I was there encouraging him, and I was I basically as well, I shut him down on the Sunday service. And I said, that's not giving praise to God, really. That's just feeling good. That's not totally surrendering everything you've got to the Lord. And he was just there listening and he was looking at me and he was just listening. And all of a sudden the door went up just open and it was Kim and the first thing she came up and she went get out no she, yeah she said get out what are you doing here with my husband and I said Kim I'm just telling him about a vision that the Lord gave me and he was like come on Kim come on she's just telling me about a vision and she went get out get out of the car so I get out of this limousine because it was a limousine but she called it a car so I got out and as soon as I got out, ladies and gentlemen, I was up close and personal with Kim Kardashian. And let me tell you something, her countenance was not what you see on TV or what I know her to be. She was old. For some reason, she had her face was just absolutely wrinkled. She looked at least 60 without any makeup or anything just the, the amount of wrinkles she just looked witch-like uh, you know i have to tell you as it is this woman absolutely looked witch-like and and then uh, as soon as i came out the car out the limousine uh the vision just ended and i was back in my bedroom and everything so i just this is part two to the vision ladies and gentlemen uh and there's a scripture that i want to give just hold on one second i'm going to give two scriptures that the lord wanted me to put with this video concerning kanye west and his sunday service which is not really giving glory to God. So just hold on one sec. Hi, brothers and sisters. God bless. I'm back. I'm back. So this is the two scripture. Uh, as the Lord gave me this vision, and, he, and he, the Holy, this was the Holy Spirit that literally placed these two scriptures on my heart and told me to uh, read them whilst I gave this vision. And the first scripture that the Holy Spirit gave me was. Uh, St. John chapter 15, uh, verse 3 to 5. So that's St. John chapter 15, verse 3 to 5. And this is the message, and this is the word that goes with this vision. Now he are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me as I abide in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself except it abide in the vine no more can ye except ye abide in me i am the vine ye are the branches he that abideth in me and i in him the same bringeth forth much fruit for without me, he cannot do anything. So you know them by the fruits. So at this moment in time, everybody's jumping up and down, say, Kanye West is a Christian. He's, he's not saved. It's a deception. He's, he will be saved because the Lord clearly showed me where he's going to become a child of God. But at this moment in 2019, with this Sunday service, that guy is not saved. Okay, so this is the second scripture that the Lord said to me, daughter, read this and put it with your vision. And this is the scripture. 
Amos. Oh, I love the book of Amos. Thank you, Lord. It's such a powerful book. If you take time out to read the book of Amos, it's a very prophetic book. So Amos chapter 5, verse 23. This is what the Lord says to me about Kanye West Sunday service. This is how God Almighty think about that rubbish that's going on. This is what he thinks. Amos chapter 5. You ready? Verse 23. Right, Amos chapter 5, verse 23. This is what he says Take thou away from me the noise of thy songs, for I will not hear the melody of thy voils. That's what the Lord says concerning this kind. Because it's a massive deception. Read it for yourself. Amos chapter 5 verse 23. In accordance with the Sunday service that Kanye West is doing. I'll read it one more time to let you know that God is not playing. And he is speaking through his people. Amos 5 verse 23. Listen again brothers and sisters. Take thou away. From me, this is God speaking, the noise, that's what God called the Sunday service, noise, of thy songs, for I will not hear the melody of thy voice. He's not hearing it because it's not, it's, 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 it. let the Holy Spirit reveal to you. I say no more about this. I just wanted to come and share this very powerful vision that the Lord gave me with this guy Kanye West I believe that and I know that he will be saved he will but he's not saved now he's not there yet he's not the true servant of the Most High so for those of you who are praying for him you need to pray and then another thing that came up to me concerning you know there's certain things that God can save you from just like that you don't have to fast. You don't have to pray. Certain things. But then again, Jesus said to his disciple, when they were trying to, you know, rebuke and, and heal and cast out the... Jesus said, look, there's certain things that can only come out, which means you can only get delivered through fasting and prayer. And, you know, we know what the music in the in and I, I do another video concerning music industry actually we know what the music industry is like who they sign up to so that's the vision concerning Kanye West and his wife Kim Kardashian and take it to the Lord in prayer if you want it's up to you but I give you the vision as it is and I've actually read the scriptures that uh, the Most High told me to put with these with this vision so god eternally bless you listen brothers and sisters the lord is revealing things in this final hour there's nothing hidden knowledge is going to and fro and i thank god for this ministry and i was saying to somebody today i was saying to one of my work colleagues today um that you know i thank god that i don't really have to read loads of books do this do loads of that I get the visions directly from the Lord through the Holy Spirit and it's a, you know it's an absolutely beautiful gift and I cherish it and when I come to you brothers and sisters and I stand before you on this camera I come to you with a clean heart so that God can use me so that you can hear the word of God through a clean vessel. So, you know, our Lord is real and he's wrapping things up. So God eternally bless you. I love you all and I will see you soon. Someday in glory. And also, yes, please, please, please. Someday in glory in Jesus' holy name. And also, please remember, uh, you know, please share this not share well you can share if you want to but like it so it goes in the recommendation you never know Kanye West might come across it 
you never know so please like it the more likes it gets i think that's what one of my beautiful um, beloved said in the lord the more likes my video gets it goes in the recommendation section and then a lot of people can watch it so that's your part of helping me to share the gospel so god bless you i love you all and i will see you soon someday in glory in jesus precious holy name Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.